Welcome everybody to Gangsta in the Kitchen. Today we're making holiday scones. In this case we're making cranberry apple scones with a nice orange glaze. The ingredients for the cranberry apple scones are A scone is basically an English biscuit, which is a little bit sweeter. We're going to start now by adding our flour, our baking soda, and our baking powder. We're going to whisk it real good together. You can sift it. A good tip is you can use a sifter. Make it a little bit more fluffy, more lighter. We're going to add the butter to this and we're going to start cutting the butter to, to the flour till we get a nice consistency of like wet sand. We're going to turn the KitchenAid to at least a medium, uh, medium speed. Now, before we get to that wet sand stage, a real important tip, we're going to add the sugar. It helps break it up as well. When it looks like this, coarse grain, we're ready to add the liquid to start our dough. So, before we add our liquid, we're going to add our cranberries that were macerated in a rum. You can use any type of rum. I just use a, stuff, a special rum. <laughs> We're gonna add half a cup of apples, any type, no matter. We're gonna mix it a little bit before we add our liquids. Okay, now we're gonna add our liquids slowly. I'm not adding all of it yet because I don't know how much the flour is going to take and absorb the liquid. So I'm taking it little bit by little. It's going to be more or less like a wet dough. You know it's ready when it starts sticking to your attachment. Alright, I already put some flour on the table to help me knead the dough a little bit. Remember these are scones, you want them nice, light and fluffy. Don't overwork them. I'm going to get them out of the bowl and put them on the table. A little working bench here. And I'm going to work it just a little bit. We're going to add a little flour. You're going to want to roll it out to about an inch to two inches thick. Remember, don't work it too hard. It's a real soft dough. You 
you can use your hands if you want. I mean, Try to square it up as much as you can. It don't matter. It could be round. Um, remember, traditionally, scones were made triangles. That's how I'm going to make them today. But you could use a biscuit cutter and make them round. It don't matter. I'm going to cut them half. Good tip. See how it's sticking to my knife? Add a little flour to your knife. Then it, then it won't stick. That's so. After you cut them in triangles, we're going to place them in our baking pan here. Then we're going to get some egg wash, which basically is some milk and some egg beating. We're going to egg wash them. Then we're going to add, sprinkle a little bit of sugar and then bake them for 15 to 20 minutes until golden brown. Always remember preheat your oven at 400 degrees. All right, let's start placing them. Very delicate. This recipe makes about eight of them. If you want to make more, just double the recipe. Or when you're flattening them out, flatten them out a little bit thinner than what I did. It should get out a little bit more, two or three more. Right before I put it in the oven, I, I sprinkled a little bit of sugar. Doesn't matter what type of sugar you use, turpentine sugar or regular all-purpose sugar. It don't matter. Remember, you're going to cook these for 10 to 15 minutes, 20 max, if you see that it's not nice and golden brown. Wow. After I took them out of the oven, I let them rest for about 25 minutes. Then I glazed them and prepared them. You can find my glaze at my blog at gangstinthekitchenblastpot.com. Now let me take a little taste of this. Delicious. Wait, what? Where did that came from? remember kids I hope you like my recipes I didn't get to taste anything because I guess a panda came and took them but you know what always remember keep it simple keep it interesting and keep it from the heart and even you can be a gangster in the kitchen happy holidays from the gangster and his family and the creepy panda behind me <laughs>